Hi guys and welcome to Adobe Anime using the assets. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how this is put together. See, it's like uh, she's actually on a bike and just traveling along the coast. So let's end this and put one of these together. So I'm going to start a new project. Let's go to new and then click on create. There we go. Now you need your library so this is the library right? and here we have line we have color we have properties and assets so we're going to need the assets properties align and library now in the library i just need one of my images that i use this very image i'm going to grab it drop it right there and you can also draw that drop that very image straight into straight onto the scene as you can see the scene is 100 so i'm going to kind of like change it to maybe about 50 right up here okay so that you guys can see what i'm about to do okay just change the percentage instead of 100 to 50 and this is the image grab the image drop it right there so let's increase also increase the size of the frame that's the frame there as you can see my image is right there inside or on frame one okay this very layer that's layer number one so let's change the name of layer number one when you double click it you can change that just call it bg which stands for background there now why the image is selected Let's go straight to the properties that we have in here. I'm going to select and change this to 1280. If you right click on your scene and select it, you can always see the size 1280 by 720. Okay, so select the image, make sure it is 1280 by 720. There we go okay so let's use the align make sure the image is selected click on align and align horizontal and center there we go now this very image i intend to copy it so let's let me reduce the size of these to maybe about 10 of the screen to about 10. uh maybe that's too small let's make it 20. there now you can always select or press Control. Why the image is select Control D to pop, to create a duplicate and place that right beside it. Okay, repeat this Control D, select both image, Control D, it's right there, right beside it. Okay, now I'm going to select it again. Just need about eight of those. Control D again, and just paste it right beside it there we go and that is it now all of these images i'm going to group them together so the easiest way to group them together select it all you can press ctrl a all right and then just press ctrl g to group it together all right click and just get it grouped but ctrl g will surely group them together for you okay so select ctrl a ctrl g letter g to get it grouped so that's it is now one image yeah now the next now the next thing we want to do now is to animate it well like i said earlier on make sure it's ctrl g if you don't know that you can also find that inside modify look at it group ctrl g on group Control shift and G okay so it's grouped now now let's animate so I'm going to come straight to the layout here and you see where we have timeline this is the timeline and now I'm going to select frame maybe frame 500 something like that yeah frame 500 I should do and either you right click and select copy frame which is insert frame and the shortcut key for that is f5 there that is taken care of now 
at frame 500 anytime the player head this is the player head get to frame 500 you want it to animate so i'm going to right click on it and we select convert to keyframe or you can always select f6 there we go now get it animated just drag keep dragging until you get to the last one there this is just seen underneath there okay so just paste it there correctly that is it animation is done then right click anywhere on your timeline and you select great classic 20 there and click on ok you can also try it out test the movie right up here click on test and that's what you get okay now let's make it look real so i'm going to stop that i will now go straight to the asset look at the assets i need the lady on the bike you can always also type bike in there and search for it or you just drag this down and that is it that's the lady on the bike all right so i'm going to now lock this up let's go to frame number one make sure you are on frame one right there lock this up okay and drag the lady on the bike and paste it right here and that will create its own layer here there we go look at the layer girl bike or girl bicycle that's what the asset is called if i run it it will look like she's actually floating on the scene look at it okay so let's drag that down so that she looks it looks like she is actually riding along you can increase the size of this to about 50 to see what you're doing and you just drag it down or just tab it down there now click on run and that is it guys that's how you create your own motion anime in adobe anime so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this short tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly with more tutorial on adobe bye for now